Hi, my name is Rolf, and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can use ChatGPT to quickly create a prototype of a landing page. So, the first step we will take is uh, ask ChatGPT to create an ugly first draft for a content that we will provide. Then, we use the generated HTML and paste it into an online HTML editor. We will ask ChatGPT to update the content and the design. If we find time, we will also extend it with a different content section. And as a bonus tip, I will show you how you can use the HTML file and publicly share it on the web so everybody can access it. And of course, I will share some of my learnings along the way. Let's get going. So the very first step, I have ChatGPT open. It doesn't matter if you use the free version or the plus version. I'm using model 3.5. It also works with model 4.0. And I have pasted the first question, which is, can you create the HTML file for a landing page using a copy copyright? Let's hit return. Sure, I can help you. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, it also says something about different CMS. We don't care about that. So I'm switching back uh, to a text editor. And as you can see here, I created some content already. So I will copy this over and switch to ChatGPT. Here is the content for the landing page. And hit return. And it starts generating the HTML. It takes a few seconds. Let's wait, let's wait. This can take, uh, of course, uh, up to a minute or full two minutes, depending on how much um, content you provide or how complicated the request you post to ChatGPT. But it's still a perfect way to prototype a landing page because you're so much quicker compared to signing into a CMS or page builder. Okay, it's ready. We can what it wrote down here. Scroll up and click on copy code. Now, in a separate browser window, I browse to codepen.io slash pen. This opens this page. This is a free HTML online editor. I can do much more, but let's focus on the HTML for now. And I, I, I paste the HTML. Now it takes a few seconds. And you can see here, uh, that is the landing page chat GPT created, sorry. So you, down here you can see that is the landing page ChatGPT provided. That isn't bad for a first version, but let's move on to the second version and improve it. So for the second version of our landing page prototype, I asked ChatGPT to do the following. Create the landing page with a two-column layout. The text content and input form should be on the left-hand column and on the right-hand column so a uh, show a specific image from Unsplash. This image, image is uploaded publicly on Unsplash. Also, I asked ChatGPT to use a specific image as a background image, a gradient graphic that is uploaded to our own website. Use a specific Google font. Font color should be black. Um, yeah, and of course, here is the content. And down here, you can see the generated HTML and CSS. And back on CodePen, we get the following result. So. Um, this is now a prototype. I can show my client, my colleagues, the copywriter, the designer, in which direction the design should go. Whatever my goal is with uh, using ChatGPT to create this type of prototype. But we will do something completely different. We will save the HTML file and put it online. Uh, this is the bonus tip incoming. Put the um, full code that ChatGPT generated into a text editor. I paste it. I noticed down here there's a closing tag missing and also the body closing tag was missing. That happens sometimes with ChatGPT anyway. So it was just these two closing tags I added. Now in my text editor, I click on save as. And in, within the downloads folder, I create a new folder called landing page prototype XYZ create and the file i call it index.html that is important for our next step so i click save now i switch to a, uh, a web service called let me quickly close this here um, i switch to netlify.com you can create a free account with them it's with what everything i showed you in this tutorial is uh, without investing any budget for your prototype i click on login and I say, create a new site. And here I say, deploy manually. Now I select the folder. 
and the folder is called landing page prototype XYZ. Upload. Upload. Takes a few seconds. And you can see here the URL. I click on it. And voila, my landing page I prototyped with ChatGPT is online instantly. Now, what you could do if you really want to bring this page online, apart from that you need to make the form working, which could also be done via ChatGPT. But um, what you can do here is you can map your domain. And if you see in my account, I did that already. So the domain rolfhq.com is my own domain. I connected it to my Netlify account. And this is also a landing page I prototyped um, with ChatGPT. The only difference here is uh, I added some testimonial content and the form is a little bit different formatted. So I hope this was useful for you. Uh, please check out the full blog post to get the full picture. Uh, in the blog post, I also showed how to make the page responsive. Uh, so as you can see here, my version on rolfhq.com, which is online, is also responsive. So that is something I added. And I also have a little remark on how you can uh, make the form actually working. But this was all made in the context of creating prototypes. So this is super powerful. I'm very excited about this.